Puff Piano Style 100. We're working on Donnelly, and I am just about to get most of this head of this song, more or less. Uh, it's about uh, 28, looks like about 30 something measures, maybe. I'm not sure how many measures it is. Okay. Um, okay, it's written in A flat, and uh, I'll go through this little by little. And I've gone through several, several, this several times, and as I work on it, I get better at it. It is, this is not my specialty for sure, but I want to incorporate this style of playing in my uh, playing, okay? So, um, if you do this, you've got to get those, uh, th that first, I'm going to break this down in like just little bits and pieces and then start putting it together, okay? Okay, so you go, you do a triplet at first. Okay, that triplet right there. And you do that. Okay, let's do that together. Hopefully you got your piano with. I'll download this from Don, uh, download this Donnelly from uh, Kent Hewitt's site. If you have any problems, uh, just contact him or you could uh, just contact me and I'll, I'll walk you through it, how to get, get it downloaded to your phone or to your computer. Um, I usually use a phone. I'm kind of out of practice with my laptop. Okay, here we go. A flat major 7. Okay, that's what we're going to work on first. Okay. So G, A flat, G, F, E. And all, there. that first part is a triplet, so it's one and a. And actually, this one here, believe it or not, starts on the, it's got like two beats, and then the next one's three and a, and then four and. Can't help it, that's the way it starts. Okay, so that's where it gets, and then, then you just uh, do your third finger, and, and then come over on the, the E flat and the D flat, which are uh, part of the A flat scale, and then so you got this right here. This fits really nicely in the hands, like that. And then this comes over. You just have thumb here. So so that's the way you can do. Think of that. It's just little pieces. Okay. Now you want to uh, you want to go on um, Charlie, you know, pull up Charlie Parker uh, doing it on I believe the sax, and uh, then you can get more of a feel for it. Um, this this you could it it doesn't doesn't sound like that. It sounds like it sounds like that. That's what it sounds. Okay. I have some uh, problems with some of his suggested fingerings, but he said they're not, they're optional to the player, and some of them are very sophisticated, and some of them are things I just don't know if it works for me, so I just will show you what works for me, and then you do what works for you, okay? Okay. Now I bring the the uh, fourth finger over here, and he suggests the third finger. So we're gonna go G A flat G F E E flat D C. That's what we got so far. And it should sound like this. Okay. Now, would you think that you could play it that fast, if you, especially if you're a beginner? No, no, no. I doubt it. Okay. So I go slow when I'm learning something. Let me turn the volume up. So I go slow when I'm learning something. Okay, now that's, that, that's as fast as it is. You do that triplet at first. Okay, and then come through with this. Okay, so that's the first part. Bring, now this is the second part. I'm just breaking it down. Now we're in the, um, somewhere around the, somewhere around the, uh, now we're in, 
we're in the um, second measure. And I bring the fourth finger over. And then it's easy enough to, to put the third finger on the A. Okay. Reach over and hit the C. Okay, that's a, actually not, we're not going to go that far at this point. Now we're going to do... Okay, that was wrong, wrong up there. But anyways, and this is at a bad angle for me, but I'm setting it up for my... Uh, I'm actually looking at the, the notes as they fly by, okay? And, uh, and it just throws things off a little bit. And, Please be understanding of it. I'm at a bad angle on this. I don't like the angle I'm at, but um, that's the way it is. And it throws your... Okay, so G, A flat, G, F, E, E flat, B flat, C, which we discussed. We discussed this over here. We pull over with the fourth finger and hit the B flat. Hit the A, which is not part of the... A flat scale, but okay, okay, and uh, and then re, and do a quick. Don't do it too quick because it'll sound like a triplet. You don't want that. Just do all that in one sw sweep. I had to figure this out the hard way. I, I've taught myself this song. So we're in a good, sh uh, good place there. Okay. Now, his is a little bit different uh, from uh, his... Uh, I, I can do it that way, but there's several different ways that, that I do this. He does this right here. Uh, let's see. Uh, maybe this might be a little confusing, but you have to have his... Uh, I will I will pass that up because we don't have I'm assuming a lot of people are just watching this without downloading it which is kind of par for the course we're, we're all in a hurry to see the next video that's that's life okay I've done it okay so G A flat G F E E flat D flat C bring four finger over to a, a, B flat, A, then C, E flat. I like to use these fingers. Uh, F on the third, the fourth on uh, the G flat, and the A flat, I use the pinky. And then when I, this is very comfortable, it's almost like this. Okay? It's almost like that. That's a good way to do it. You could go like this. You could go like that with those fingers. Okay? It's, it's, uh, it's you know, whatever choice you want. Okay? Okay? Now, I initially taught this because it was more like, this reminded me so much of this. 
So, I'll have to say this over and over again. This is for beginners. I'm not a beginner and I'm not a jazz player, but I'm going to try to help you learn some of the stuff that I've learned on it, okay? I'm just going to apply that right there. It's a triplet, okay? It starts out on G, A flat, okay? Okay? And then it does, and it does F, E on there. Okay, that's what you do. You start out, okay, just like that. G, A flat, back to G. That's your triplet. And then follow through with F, E. Actually, this is your triplet because this is the last part of a triplet. Even though there's four notes here, this is, that's a triplet right there. But if you have to continue this on, because that wouldn't be a triplet there. That would be, that would be like a fast, maybe a, like a sixteenth almost, and then just hold it there. So it's got to have a place where it goes, okay? That's a little complex, but anyways. Okay, but the idea is you follow through with it with a F, E. Okay, you follow like that. So that's what you want to do. You want to go really fast right there and follow on like that. It feels really good because you're going to end up hitting a G, F, E. Okay, now you've got to have your, this is the mechanics of it. You've got to have this third finger ready to go. Oh, by the way, you need to download uh, Kent Hewitt's on his site. Get on his site. Uh, just look, uh, go, um, go on YouTube and you can find this site. But the best way, I think, is just go Google and you Google Kent Hewitt and you Google at uh, the same time um, Donnelly and uh, it'll come up. It'll give, it'll give you his site. And you go on it, and then you can find Donnelly and go suggested fingerings, because that's what I'm going to stress, okay? Okay, so we annoyed you at that. Sorry about that. Okay, now, at, when you first start, you're going to be going like this. And that's important. Just do this at first. And then do, do this. And then go. And then you're going to really feel good about that. And then what you're going to do now is you're going to go. I don't have. I, I misplaced the paperwork on this, so I have to do it from memory. And it took a lot of work to even get that far. Not this part right here, but. Okay? And this is fast. Okay, so now follow it to the E flat, the D flat, and the C, and you'll be you'll be at home on your your thumb on the right hand side. And then I come over on the fourth. It suggests the third, but unless you have fairly large hands, I suggest you come over on the fourth, and I'm about to show you why got to reach here. So would you rather be reaching with this, this right here, or would you rather be reaching with this? That's almost awkward, okay? So you want to go with, a, with it on to the B flat, you want to go with it with a fourth. Now that's especially a small, uh, you know, a child's hand that might be learning this, okay? And then you be prepared to almost make this almost be a triplet because you have to not, I don't have, I can take my keyboard and I think I can still see that right there. Okay, you got that? Let me move up a little bit. Okay. So you want to you wanna go like this and I suggest if you're working with a keyboard or um, I would sit a little bit to the left. That's what I would do because you're going to be working right around in here and see how you're going to be a little bit uncomfortable. Now I've only got about 72 keys on this. And lean a little bit to the left. That's just me. I, you know, because if you like this, it's kind of like it, it might be just a little uncomfortable. So 
um, I'm going to physically move over to the left. Okay? Now this is totally, if you like to be on that side, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying, just try different things. You might be a little too far off on this side over here, but when you get over here, it's going to be very comfortable for you. Okay? Okay? So that's part of it. Okay? Now also, yeah, we got a lot to cover there. See that right there? If I did it with a third, if I come over with the third finger right there, I'd be reaching like that and I'd have, it would work, but it's a little awkward. So, okay. Now, he, uh, he, he suggested uh, a couple different fingerings here. You could go up like this. Now, he didn't suggest that. He went like this. Okay. Let's see. Okay, either one will work. Now, this is pretty good. At first, I didn't like it. But I've got where I like it. But a lot of times, I'll go up like this. That's a good exercise for the pinky and everything like that. Okay, but you can't go like this and it works. So you're going to go... Originally, I had made a mistake, and um, I'll probably get it off of there or modify it or something like that. I don't know how long we do, but I've got uh, one of my videos, and I did this as a D minor seven. It's a D minor seven flat five. It's probably got other names. It's D diminished seven D F A uh, flat C. Okay. come back and hit GF. Okay? Okay? So that's really that's almost the top phrase, the main phrase or the, the beginning. And uh, because that part right here, there's a rest. There's like, uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's, uh, I'm trying to remember how many of there. Um, little mistake there, but um, there's a little bit of a rest there, okay? Um, I think it's like I say, it's two, uh, two quarter notes, and this song flies by, but you can hear it if you listen to it. You can listen to the, uh, there's a little bit of a pause, and that lets you know where you're going with it. Okay, that was just it in the wrong octave. Here we go again, I'll have to cut that out. Okay, so we'll get to that part. some of the fingering I'm doing here. I, I do all kinds of stuff, but that one's a little bit of a challenge. Okay. Okay. That, that we're just going to work on that for right now. Okay.
So we're on the one, two, three, four, and we're going to do the five measure. We're going to start out hitting these two notes with two and one. It's G natural and F, and there's a little rest, okay, and that allows you to go, okay, three, two, three, two, then the that other finger, the third finger, is now going to go E flat, D flat. See? And then, uh, let's see, just measure. Sure. So that's really cool. You go down and you hear it. And now you hit A with your thumb. And then you come back to B flat, D flat. And this is really nice slick. And, you know, uh, there are some gaps a little bit in that. And I am on a keyboard, so just keep that in mind. A, B flat. D flat, just you make up your mind. Oh, that's part of becoming more advanced. And you try to get it all in the right time, but you might be going too fast. So you try to aim it like that. Okay, so we go. Okay, so that's the lick. Okay, so let me go over that and make sure that that's all correct. A natural, B flat, D flat, then go over to F, A flat, C, E flat. Okay, so you're doing an F minor 7. So here... like that and this follows over now let me show you something about this movement here when you go like this you don't want to you know be like that you don't want to be positioning like this this is this is over not not uh they this is a style where you basically move it to where it is you got to be over there and you can't be like that you can't be switching you know and I'm not doing it exactly right, but you got to move your hand. It's over. Okay, you just get over there, and you make up your mind. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get there. And uh, then all it does at that point is come back with a D. Okay, so that makes sense. That's a, that's a D flat. Excuse me. Okay, so now that's nice. But now it does something really weird. It goes here, which is a D flat, and goes to an E. Okay? So, so you gotta get your hand ready for that. Wow. This is will work your hands. This will really work your hands. Okay. Goes down here, which I believe is a major six, out from E. Okay, so that's a major six down. You want to think of it that way. I don't know. And goes from, a, a, would be a C sharp if you were thinking E, but we we'll just think of that right there. And then you'd have to think of it different. If you were in A flat, you'd have to think of it in another way. I just thought of it dropping it a major six. But let's just skip that. Might be a little difficult. 
So go from a D flat to an E, okay? And believe it or not, this is really a strange. And I like to use this finger, okay? See that that finger's already there. And I do this, I'll sit there and do this for a few minutes. I mean not a not a lot of times, but just do it every every little bit, just do it about five, ten times or something like that. And when I first did this, it wasn't natural at all. And it's becoming more natural, but it's not there yet. And then, this is odd, you go this B, and you go G, and then E flat, D flat. Now, it's like this. Okay? And then, uh, this is what's written on the paper. Then you go here. So you do this little, little, this little weird thing here. Drop the thumb here and do a C minor sound and come back and hit A flat if I remember right. So I'm going to go over the notes just to make sure that I'm right. I take the fourth. Okay. The thumb will be on E, and then you're going to have F. So you go down. This is standard stuff. For bebop. You go down to a note that shouldn't even be in there, and then you go up a half step or semitone, come back to the one that was just right below the one you originally came up with, and that'll be on your pinky, I believe, and then B, which doesn't seem like it should fit there either, and you want to do these you're in a position here and then you you do as awkward as anything but if you go E G E flat um, D flat and I had to lift my hand up a little bit because you got to clear things or walk out here see get out of the way or it's kind of hard to kind of go in like that doesn't feel right but it starts to feel right now it might be a good idea to just switch to this finger and then it feels totally right now in the music that Kent suggested uh, and it's optional um, let's see here they used the note they used oh okay they went C E flat In spite of them not being perfect, and I apologize, I can't give my face. It's more important that you see this part right here anyways. The, and uh, I'm going to give it a little flavor today. I think I'm going to...
not perfect, but I'm working on perfection uh, as much as mankind can do. Um, so here it is. Okay. Um, probably made some mistakes there, you know, but we'll work out those mistakes as time goes on. Okay. I suspect that this is going to take me about probably to get everything right. It's going to take me probably, I'm teaching it myself, and by the time I do the rhythm, by the time I write the, uh, write out the, um, I'm writing in an uh, iReal Pro, which I've got some of that already up and going. I suspect we're talking about 10 or 15, 20 different segments and everything. And they'll get better and I'll probably take some off the internet and put some back in its place or whatever. And uh, I might have something that'll say new, whatever like that. Um, I try to make it so it's just not like you're just going over the same stuff all the time. However, when we started, okay, uh, I went like this. This is how I started, and this is almost all I knew. I knew about, let's see, I knew... I might have known that much. I don't even think I knew that much. Okay, I actually did it like this. Okay, which sounds a little less when I did that. Okay, let me go on back to... Let's do, do, I'll have to start all over again a little bit, okay? Is a G, A flat, G, F, E, D flat, excuse me. Okay, I'm going to start all over again on that. got a kind of a Rhodes feel to it, okay? Um, I made a mistake there. Yeah. Okay. getting it. I can go a little bit far, faster than that, but not much faster than that, because it doesn't sound very musical to me, okay? I like it slower. I've heard Charlie, I think, do it on the horn, and, and I think it was almost that slow right there at one point or another. Okay, the other day, I, I uh, actually uh, had... Uh, I thought that this went like this. Okay, it doesn't do this. That's a D minor 7. And I say it on the internet. I say on my channel, I just say D minor 7. Okay? It's not that. It's a, it's a D diminished 7. Okay? It does a quick little almost arpeggio. But, you know, the thing is, you don't want to do, in my opinion, you don't want to, and it's a flavor thing, however you want to do it, you can, because when you have, this is just my opinion, um, there may be connoisseurs out there, and they would totally disagree with that, and that's fine, um, that uh, everybody has their own little style, how they do, like I play the guitar certain ways, and, and you could hear me play for a little while, I recognize my own playing, and uh, so if somebody listens to somebody on and off throughout the years, they recognize that particular player, 
And there's a reason, because everybody, we're not machines. We don't do it exactly the same way. Somebody will play swing one way, and somebody will sw play swing another way. In fact, I have done a little bit of minimal designing, helping design some swing stuff for a computer, and it doesn't work very well. It's, it's, computers don't swing as well as human beings do. We have it built into our system. Okay. Uh, can't tell from there, but uh, I've got some of the song, you know, pretty much down, and uh, it, it follows to me. Uh, I know it's uh, about uh, the back home in Indiana, and uh, but uh, it, you kind of basically use it. But I get more. I think uh, all of me, um, which rhymes with Donna Lee, which is kind of interesting, but. Um, so, I went over this already, I did this already, and I did it on a sax sound, which is really cool. And I'm talking as I do this, so it doesn't turn out very good. Okay, so that's kind of where I've come to, uh, and I'm also working on using some, I've got permission to use some backing tracks from some very professional, uh, where they really, you know, like that, where they're really going after the bass. I play a bass guitar, I play, I can play the bass for this, but I'm not, so I'm not ready for this yet by itself, okay? So, uh, we did this already, and there's no need me go over this part right here, because we already did that. And I was supposed to. That was supposed to read that. Da, 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 I don't think I need to go over that again, right? And it goes like this, and it, and that's where I'm going to work on today because uh, you're kind of sitting in on my practice session, okay? Um, and uh, so I'm going to. See, we're going to go to, or I'm going to go to, um, let's see, it goes down like this, at, on measure 8 it goes like this, and uh, the fingering that I use may not work for you, uh, I try to do the easiest one that makes sense, okay, uh, Okay. Okay, that didn't make sense at all. Okay. And if I miss a note, who cares? Because the thing is, we're just illustrating that the, the speed is really kind of nice and fast. And uh, but uh, I get all I get all of me. Okay, kind of, sort of. We don't have that down by any kind of standard at all. Okay, I will have that down, but it's A flat major seven, and it goes in F seven, which is the which is the six. Okay, um, and then B flat seven. That's a, a minor second, and uh, excuse me, that's a dominant seven. Dominant seven, B flat dominant seven, and it goes to a B flat minor seven. Okay. So it goes uh, A flat, and uh, the original song was not an A flat major seven. I don't think, according to what I can look up in Charlie Parker's book, it's free, by the way, on the internet. Okay, for a download. Okay, and uh, then you go to F seven, then you go to B flat seven, and then you want to go to a minor. Just take in, take that, take your uh, your third of B flat, which is B flat C D, and. I just change that, everything else stays the same. 
and then I take and go like this and that makes an E flat 7 because that's E flat and that's a flat 7 because it's a whole tone down. This is your 5, it's up here 5, and G that's your, that's your, uh, excuse me, that's your third of E flat, okay. And um, then uh, back to A flat major 7, now you can make it like this, which is a pretty jazzy way of doing it, or you can do it like that. And it kind of depends on the melody and where your hand needs to be and how much room you have on your keyboard. A lot of different variations. Okay. And then uh, then it goes to it's the E flat minor 7. And I don't know this song at all yet. Okay. E flat minor 7. You can do it like that. That's nice. Okay. And just uh, you want to do this at regular speed. But uh, E flat minor 7 could be like that. E flat. G flat. Uh, B flat and D flat, which from the E flat scale, that's the E flat, which would be the home key. That's the that's the home note uh, E flat root, and then that's the minor third because the G is the major third, and then that right there is your five. Okay, and when you're determining fives and everything, and you want to go with a major scale, don't try to have it modified because that'll be wrong. Okay. And then this would be 5, and this would be 6, and this would be 7 here, so this is flat 7, okay? So that's how kind of how that works out, why that's it? Now you can take and move that around different variations, okay? You can do it like this, that's pretty right there, okay? Because you get some of these, okay, you can just play around with it just a little bit. Only thing I'm avoiding, if you notice, is the A, flat. You can put that in there, it gives a different sound, but it's not part of the music, okay? And then we go to, so that right there is only two beats, okay? So one, two, three, four, okay? So E minor seven on the, uh, this is not organized. One, two, three, four, five, let's see, where are we at? Five, six, seven, eight. Okay, on the eighth, yeah, it's, they're all four, there's four measures of piece, okay? Got it. Okay, so, uh, uh, you, oh, by the way, you want to download this. Uh, Charlie Parker suggested fingerings optional to player. Uh, Donna Lee, and it's medium to ups, ups, uh, ups, upswing. Right, say that word right. Uh, Charlie Parker is credited with it. And um, then you go to uh, D7. Okay. Um, and so this right here, you would go to a E flat. It's just walking down by half steps or semitones, and you're naming the chord after it. E minor seven, and then go to uh, D seven. Okay, which is a D seven. Is this is for beginners and those that are a little bit past beginners, D or intermediates. D F A C. And if you notice, that's what I have here. That's a one. The major third must be in all dominance. Okay, this right here is the 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and this right here is a flat 7 because it's a whole tone down from the root. Okay, you'll sit and notice a lot of the same things, but that's going to reinforce reinforce it to you. Okay, so that, so you got this quick little thing here, and I want you to notice how nice that is, how nice it falls into the hand. You have this nice E minor 7, which I just did, and it falls down here. Okay. And I'm not uh, I'm not knowledgeable enough about this song yet to die, uh, to analyze it. Okay, which I will do later on. And this is a D flat major seven. Okay, uh, D flat major seven uh, is uh, what you want to do is you want to think every time you see a major seven, you do not think dominant. And most likely, it, I can't tell you. But the main thing is I want to say about a major seven is it is not a dominant chord. It does not have the it does not have what's called the flat seven, which this is the major seven. But to turn it into a dominant chord, all you got to do, by the way, okay, you're here. You got this nice, and then you got this right in your face, okay. And your dominant usually wants to go right to your four chord. So the D flat would be going to G flat. So it'd be going D flat. This is that part. We, got, we did this part already over here. Okay, we, we already got that out of the way. Okay? And then you go with, I use these two fingers on the E and the D. And then you go, you, you drop this down by 
to E flat, and thumb goes on A, and then you do this nice little thing here, B flat, go up a minor third to D flat, and then you go all the way up a fourth to F, and you make you make a, the this uh, chord here is an F minor seven. But also, if you would look at this whole thing, I'm not sure how the chords work in here, but essentially, you just came out of this and you hit these notes here. Okay? So you essentially have some kind of D minor, uh, uh, D, D major 7. I'm not sure what, what chord it's looking for, but a lot of times that's what they do, is they put notes from another chord and they superimpose them among another chord and and that's what happens okay if you understand what I'm saying essentially if you're playing in um, a C minor 7 you might be making uh, uh, E flat arpeggios okay like this you might be going like this okay okay just say so uh, here we go we got this so we did this we did this 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 Okay, so we we did this here. That's what we need to work on right there. Okay. Okay, this is where we are. And that right there, as I said, you need to be over there. You don't want to do treat that like a scale where you're. You, it's called an over. That's an over. Okay. Okay. So over and make an F minor seven, and then come down and make a. Oh, you know, these notes are F, A flat, C, E flat, and back to D flat. Okay, and then go down to E, up to F. Yeah, I know, and then C. Go down to B, G, E flat, D flat, C. Okay. So you would you did this. So you got a C minor seven over there, a uh, chord, but you do an arpeggio almost. Don't do it like this, okay? Because you're doing you're doing probably sixteenth notes, unless the rest of it's that passed. And don't do like that, because you end up, you know, you end up right there. If I did it like that, and I went like that, maybe I got uh, a. Uh, um, I don't have what I want to have. I just want to. I just want uh, eighth notes there. They're fast, okay. And then you come down and make the A flat here. Then you hit the E flat with your thumb. And then this is kind of odd, unnatural almost. E flat, F. And then you already have your th have things in motion. Almost doing a G flat major seven. You are do, doing it, and then you go C E C, and then uh, let me go over that again because I can get it at speed. Yeah, that's what I thought. You go E C, and then D flat. E flat, so it's it's almost a surrounds the note. Okay. Okay, now that 
that's something we're good. Now, notice that I had a tendency sometime to maybe not do it perfect, okay? And this is the way I see it, okay? If I am giving this exactly, exactly to you, and sometime I do it exactly right, but sometime I just get into the improvisation mode, but it doesn't matter because it's not going to affect, it shouldn't affect you at all because you can always do it exactly like it's written. But you want to also, I think, uh, it's jazz, so you kind of, if you do it not exactly right, I don't think there's anything wrong with it because it kind of gives you your style. Okay? That's my opinion. <laughs> wrong notes. But you know what? I really don't think we will we won't leave that out there. Maybe I will. But um uh...